Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Cartoon Cory. You're watching Grapple, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about mistakes in cartoons. Primarily SpongeBob, but also the Patrick Star Show. Real quick, though, if you wanna talk to me, make sure to subscribe as I respond to the comments of all subscribers. So if you click subscribe right now and leave a comment, I'll respond for sure in the next two days. Anyways, let's get into these mistakes. Your grandma is a real live club naughty and witch, but I don't think she likes me very much. I'm Agnes. I've got magical powers of transformation, and I don't approve of this non-magical husband. Uh, uh, Agnes! Mom! First up is the Patrick Star episode, which which is which. And don't worry, guys, like I said, we're gonna be talking about regular SpongeBob, but this episode has a really bad mistake. Roll the footage. I'm here to see my precious <laughs> granddaughter. You're the daughter of a seventh generation witch, you know. It's time to undergo the family witch trials to test you for magical powers. I don't think I have magical powers yet. When did you get yours, Mom? Well, I never got my powers. I may not have lived up to all of Mama's expectations. Hmm. First, we'll test your ability to cast fire spells. You need a fire wand, naturally. Wow! My own wand! Oh, thank you, Nana! Can I call you Nana? No, no. It's very easy to miss, but okay, at one point in the episode, Squidina gets her wand. And if you pay close attention, as she gets the wand, the button on her shirt turns transparent for a frame. It just becomes see-through, what? I'm sure most of you guys get the mistake, but for those who don't, normally the button on Squidina's shirt looks like this. It isn't see-through. But in this one shot of which which is which, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just see-through. It's transparent, what happened here? I will say, despite the mistake, Mistake, this is a good episode, but stay tuned guys as we're gonna keep it moving and head over to another episode with more mistakes. Let's go! Spongebob! down, sailor! What's going on, Mr. Krabs? According to the nice man from the labor authority, it's time for your break, boyo. We get breaks. You know, Mr. Krabs is a very strict boss. Like, all this dude cares about is money. And, you know, I don't think he cares about Squidward or SpongeBob too much. Well, fortunately, in the episode Break In, Mr. Krabs is forced to start giving SpongeBob a break at work. Wow, what a change. It makes for a good plot, I'll admit. But this episode does have two sneaky mistakes. Roll the footage. Employee break room? I never knew this was here! <gasps> oh, it's beautiful! Like stepping through a portal into the magical realm beyond! Yeah, whatever. Enjoy your carousel, my little hot dog friends. Ah. Voila! My break room band, Scrubby and the cleaning crew. Hmm. Let's see if I wired everything right. All right, so right here is the break room, the room for taking breaks, I mean, obviously. And I want you to pay attention to this microwave right here, okay? This microwave. As if you pay attention throughout the episode, it keeps on randomly changing locations. First it's here, then it's here, it's all over the place. I mean, I guess they could have moved the microwave around, but guys, this happens in a matter of like seconds or minutes, so I doubt it. The animators most likely just forgot that they put it here, you get it, blah, blah, blah. It's a funny mistake though, am I right? And Here's another one. Huh? Oh, music! I didn't know the Krusty Krab had a lounge. Oh, come on in, everyone. Try the funk. It's fresh. Where'd all me paying customers go? What the? Charging anyone for a party on me premises? <laughs> <laughs> 
might have covered this one in the past, so if so, I'm sorry guys, but if you watch closely here, when Mr. Krabs opens up the break room, there's actually two incidental 40s, when there should only be one. Incidental duplications or background character duplications happen sometimes, but this one's just blatant and they could have replaced the second incidental 40 with like any other incidental, so totally a mistake, but stay tuned guys as we're gonna head over to another episode with even more mistakes guys, stay tuned. I hate it, it's trash. Ugh, the Bubble Bass Reviews Show. Welcome to the Bubble Bass Reviews Show, episode 674. Today's review, The Patrick Show. One of my favorite SpongeBob characters is Bubble Bass. I mean, this dude loves pickles and I like pickles, you know, so I like him. But he had an episode entirely dedicated to him recently on The Patrick Star Show. This episode is Bubble Bass Reviews, and it's hilarious, guys, because they make fun of, like, YouTube reviewers. They even make fun of Grapple at one point, I think, because they make fun of, like, mistake channels. But anyways, this episode has a mistake. Roll the footage. Look at this! Patrick's got a regular sea star hand! Three scenes later, he's got thumbs! <laughs> so enraging! <sighs> been watching your show, Bubble Bass. Yeah, we heard everything you said about us. <laughs> I can't believe it. My son is outdoors. Now you have to be a super fan to really catch this mistake because it's very subtle, but back in the episode Swamp Mates, we got to see Bubble Bass's room. And as you can see, the upstairs room is gray. Remember this as it's important, okay? This upstairs room in Bubble Bass's house is gray. But if you pay attention in Bubble Bass reviews, when Bubble Bass screams and runs upstairs, the upstairs room is now pink. Like what happened here? It used to be gray, now it's pink. I guess they could have repainted the room, but I don't think that would happen in a cartoon, guys. So kind of a mistake here. Don't worry, though. We're going to keep it moving and head over to another episode with even spicier mistakes. You will not believe it. Stay tuned. Up next is the season 12 Spongebob episode, Dream Hoppers, which is interesting as the episode doesn't have any dialogue and it's like a silent film. So, you know, we just get animation and music. It's kind of cool. What isn't so cool about this episode, though, is the mistakes that it's hiding. And I know you guys haven't seen these before. Roll the footage. Did you catch it? Well, during this scene, as you can see, SpongeBob's night hat is green, okay? It's the same color as Patrick's. It actually looks kind of fresh, guys. SpongeBob be dripping. But here's the problem. When Squidward almost falls back asleep and the camera zooms out, SpongeBob's green nightcap now randomly turns pink to the exact same color as Squidward's night hat for a couple of frames. How did this happen? I don't know, but this is a pretty bad mistake. I don't know how the hat just changes color mid-scene, what? From this moment on, whenever this air horn blows, Rampat will swap places with Patrick. Now let's test it out with Patrick's classic coconut comedy bit. I want a coconut! I want a coconut! I want a coconut! <laughs> Ah! 
Hey, let's talk more about the Patrick Star Show. More specifically, the latest episode, Stuntin. This is a pretty good episode if you ask me. This episode only has one mistake, but it's actually pretty bad if you understand the characters of SpongeBob. Here, take a look for yourself. Yay! Death match! Today I'm going toe to toe against Bare Knuckles the Sea Bear! Sea Bear? Hmm. To a clean, fair fight. Oh, Sea Bear's tearing him to shreds. This one is really bad. Normally, the character Squidina has four legs, okay, as you can see in these shots. Four legs and two arms, okay? It's always been like this ever since the first episode of the Patrick Star Show. But if you watch closely when Squidina rotates the cap back onto her air horn, she has two legs instead of four. Like I said, in these shots, as you can see, she's supposed to have four legs. But in this shot, the animators were feeling a little lazy as they only drew her with two. Talk about a mistake. And there's more, guys. Let's head over to another episode. Lots of mistakes in today's video. I'm going to my club meeting now. What's your club? Oh, it's the Empty Head Society. Moving on, next up is the SpongeBob episode, The Knit Witting. This episode is so funny. Here are some funny clips from the episode. It's gonna make you laugh. <laughs> you have to check your smart thingy at the door. Good. I see everyone's in their assigned places. Okay, it's time for mistakes. It's why you guys clicked on the video after all. Here's the first one. Weird. Everything's already back to normal. What? Ooh, Sandy, you cleaned everything up? Of course, SpongeBob. I belong to a club called Stemma. That stands for Fix the Empty Heads Mess Again. After giving my brain a vacation, I need a rest. Oh, hey, whoa -oh. Speaking of brain vacation. Okay, so Sandy Cheeks, iconic character, I love Sandy Cheeks. And as you can see in these shots, Sandy's neck is always brown. It's the same color as her fur, and I mean, like, she's looked like this ever since her first appearance in Tea at the Tree Dome from season one. Well, when Sandy says, speaking of brain vacation in the nitwitting, there's something up with her neck, as it's white instead of brown for a few frames. Like I said, it's supposed to be brown, but in this one shot, they just, it's white, which is just a weird mistake. I don't know who colored or animated this episode, but her neck is not supposed to be white. And that's not it for this episode, guys. Here's another mistake. There! It's now time for us to go out in the community and help the citizens of the Bikini Bottom by doing our civic duty. We call it the nitwitting. We call it the We watch the knit. We're dumb as a box of rocks. One time for knitting will be knitwitting. Hey, I love the nitwitting song. The song you guys just heard, that's what it's called, but there's a mistake in that entire section of the episode, as Patrick's tooth turns yellow for a frame, okay? Look at this, it's yellow, that's gnarly. Patrick, go brush your teeth, boy, you need to go to the dentist. The show is sold out, which means there's 30,000 fans in there. Yep. And you are gonna sell a Krabby Patty to every single one of them. Oh, what a great way to make. 
30,000 new friends. <laughs> Mr. Krabs has come up with many schemes throughout his Krusty Krab career, and the episode Krusty Concessionaires is no exception. Here, take a look at these funny clips from the episode showing what shenanigans Mr. Krabs gets SpongeBob and Squidward into in this episode. He'll be sneaking on stage to unfurl this here banner behind the band. Da -da -da -da! The Krusty Krab Krabby Patties are yummy. Please your face. Tonight would be great. It's the worst advertisement I've ever seen. Krabby Patties! Get your fresh hot patties here! I'll take a Krabby Patty. Coming right up! Watch it! Huh? Oh, excuse me, janitor. Do you know where the green room is? That depends. Where's your backstage pass? Oh, uh, yeah, it's right. <laughs> hey, it's a good episode, right? Lots of funny moments, but what isn't so funny is the mistake in this episode, guys, because it's actually like a really bad mistake. Roll the footage. <laughs> Brought to you by the Krusty Krab! The Krusty Krab. A crummy place to eat? I didn't know they were shoving us crummy food. Were you guys able to catch it? Because it's very hidden. But take a look at this character right here, Incidental 97, in this shot of Krusty Concessionaires. And I want you to take a look at his legs as he's missing one of his legs. Dude is just missing an entire leg. The animators drew him, but just didn't draw his second leg, which is just blatant laziness to me. I don't know. Just look at this dude missing his leg. It's very funny to me. I feel bad laughing at him. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you want more SpongeBob mistakes like this video, click this video right here where I cover tons of other mistakes, guys. You've never seen any of them before and they're really good and I'm going to be over there watching them with you. So click it. Click the video right now. Hey, if you click it, I'll come to your house right now and bring you a pretty patty. Okay, a pretty patty. So click the video. I'll see you guys over there. Peace.